Hi Virgo, welcome to your October monthly messages from Spirit Reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Virgo. This will not resonate with every Virgo that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading's not for you at all, Virgo, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Virgo. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Virgo and cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. So my intentions for this reading, Virgo, is to channel and provide messages from Spirit for you for the month of October, to ask Spirit what will be happening, what do you need to be aware of this month, and for others of you, this just may provide a message of what you need to hear right now with everything you've been going through, maybe since the beginning of the month, why have you been going through it, and what's the purpose of it all, and this can impact any aspect of your life, love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution, but whatever Spirit would like to be would like to talk about shall be said. So if you have any beings of the light that you would like to welcome into this space, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, maybe even pass down loved ones, you are welcome to ask them to join us here now. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sample to clear and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume's kind of loud right now, I su suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. All right, so let's see what's happening in October for my Virgos. Virgo sun, moon, rising, Venus, anyone dealing with the Virgo. What is going on in October? What do you need to be aware of? And any message that you need to hear right now. So let's see the overall theme for you guys in October, the month of October. What is the theme, the energy, the main energy that's surrounding Virgo at this time, Spirit? Intuition. Okay, Capricorn had this card. So if you guys are dealing with the Capricorn, if you have Capricorn in your chart, I suggest checking out the Capricorn reading to see if there's messages for you there. But Spirit's trying to tell you something. I feel you guys are very much in tune with your psychic abilities, your intuition. You've been gifted with it. You've had it from past lives. You were, you know, shamans, witches, priests, high priestesses in many lifetimes, maybe even gypsies for some of you guys. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. But um, I do feel that with that gift you have already been given of your intuition, your psychic abilities, that there's something spirits trying to guide you towards, is trying to help you reveal through your intuition, your psychic senses, through your visions, through your dreams. They've been very prominent maybe lately and where they're usually not as vivid before. I would definitely have a dream journal and take down any messages and any sort of visions that you're seeing within your dreams because I think that's guiding you towards something, Virgo. So I feel that you are awakening. You are developing more techniques and tools on how to use your intuition, on how to decipher the messages that are coming through. Um, I feel for some of you guys, maybe you're taking classes or learning a lot about intuition, about tarot, about the metaphysical world that you're learning up a lot about. You're finding research. Um, I don't know, even for some of you, you're getting access to the Kaushik records and visions of past lives that give you a lot of reason as to why you may be experiencing certain things in this lifetime. Um, so for example, uh, I, for some reason, just cannot look at the sight of blood. Um, it just irks at me. And 
I went to a psychic one time and she gave me a reading and she said, you were a nurse in your past life, but you were a nurse during one of the hardest wars that was going on. Um, and what she told me was the civil war in the United States, which was pretty bloody, pretty brutal. And that, um, you know, I saw a lot of gory, horrible things and that, that, memory memory of it has still stuck with me and is making me so um you know I just can't look at blood so that helped it made sense um and it's something I was always curious about so something like that you guys are kind of starting to better understand better know but I, I do feel spirit is guiding you to a specific door to a specific path to a specific journey that spirit really, really wants you to go down. And it keeps on hitting you over the head with these same confirmations, these same number synchronicities, the same theme that keeps on occurring over and over again. So spirit's guiding you to something here. Let's see what it is. Tell me more about October for Virgo spirit. The hungry ghosts, Oof, okay. Obsession, scarcity, consciousness, and attachment. So I do feel this is what spirit wants you to leave behind. And, you know, being humans, we all have that need to survive. We all need to feel secure and safe. It's just what we've been programmed from the beginning of time with everything human civilization has gone through. So I do feel spirit is trying to guide you out of the things that you've been finding that you've been obsessing over, specifically the outcomes of a situation. Um, you know, I feel these are my overthinkers here, which I could totally relate to, um, where we kind of make our decisions and then until we see the results, we just don't stop thinking about it. We hope we did everything right. We analyze and pick apart everything that happened in the situation, everything that we could have done differently. And honestly, Virgo, um, that type of thinking, which you guys may have been prone to lately, is what's driving you away from your intuition. And maybe that's what spirit's try, finally trying to have you break free from is a pattern that may have been inherited through your ancestral DNA. Um, as someone that struggles with anxiety myself, it's been a lot better now that I know how to develop the patterns and the tools to shut off anxiety when it kind of starts. But I totally get it. It's like that one thought and then it starts to snowball and then it starts to get a little bit out of control. Um, I've learned to trust my intuition enough to know that when those thoughts start snowballing, it how to de-escalate the situation, how to start melting that snowball so it doesn't get bigger and bigger. So I feel for some of you, um, maybe part of this obsession and this wording about the situation is because what you've been feeling like you've been drawn to hasn't made its appearance yet in the 3D. Um, so there's a lot of trust and there's a lot of surrendering that you guys may be going through that's making the situation a little bit difficult, especially in the middle of the month for you guys. It's kind of similar to Leo's reading in some ways. So if you have Leo in your chart, you're dealing with a Leo, I suggest checking out the Leo reading to see if there's messages for you there. But, um, you know, I feel for some of you guys, you are overcoming a fear in a lot of ways. I'm overcoming some sort of memory or choice that still haunts you to this day um that may come back in a certain way form maybe an ex maybe um you know a situation you could have ha dealt differently by the middle of the month is the opportunity to kind of confront it to face it to forgive it once and for all we're human we all make mistakes and there's I don't care who we are every single one of us has something that we look back on and say, wow, I could have done that differently. And maybe from that situation, that incident, maybe even for some of you, it was like a rock bottom, whether it was a choice you made or something completely out of your control. It was the catalyst to your intuition opening up and developing. It was the catalyst for you to get closer to spirit in ways that no one else in your family has done before. And maybe even reminding you of your past lives when you were so intuitive, when you were so psychic and regaining those gifts that you didn't start off with in this lifetime or was very muted because of the certain deck of cards you were dealt with. 
Um, but what I can say is that I feel a lot of you are overcoming obsessive thoughts, worries, stress, anxieties, and spirits guiding you away from that so you can be closer to your blessings, Virgo. Because I still feel very positive energy with this high priestess. But in the middle of the process, there may be some bumps of reverting back to that scarcity, that anxiety. All right, let's keep going. Tell me more about October for Virgo, Spirit. Tell me more about October for Virgo. October for my Virgo. Scrying intuition. Interesting. Yeah, so I wonder if some of you guys, not all, but some may be very new to tarot, to spirituality, to finding out about certain deities, um, you know, investigating past lives and Akashic records. This all may very be new to you. Maybe some of you came from a very strict religious background that is very much against um, tarot and um, divination and stuff like that, manifestation. Um, so maybe for some of you guys, just being more open to this is a little bit scary from you from those past teachings of, you know, you only need to trust God. God has a plan for you, um, which we all have our beliefs for our own reasons, and I'm not wanting to put any religion down. But I just feel, Virgo, you've been drawn to the spiritual world. You've been drawn to your intuition and developing that because there's some sort of life purpose here for you. You are naturally gifted. You are naturally talented with your psychic abilities, with your intuition, and what you're seeing visually through your clairvoyance, through your feeling through your clear cognizance, and hearing maybe through your clear audience, art is your connection with spirit that's growing more and more. So for those of you that may have been dealing with, you know, a past that was very skeptical of tarot of divination, um, I think you guys are overcoming that hump because you're starting to see, I'm actually starting to predict some of the things I'm seeing and feeling that I pull in my own cards that um, I'm starting to feel very strongly within me. You guys, some of you have the gift of foresight and it may not be the exact outcome, but you pick up on things that will happen and people look at you. How did you know that? I don't know. I just felt it. I just saw it. I could just predict it. Um, so yeah, I definitely feel if you guys are going through ascension symptoms, um, you know, you're starting to get headaches, you're starting to feel a little bit drained. It's all normal with the alchemical process of evolving spiritually. Of course, if you have any physical symptoms of illness, please go see a doctor. I am not a doctor. I don't diagnose. But besides that, um, those of you, you know, it's not just a cold or a flu, like and you're feeling more drained than usual, you are going through this transformation. And coming out on the other end, I think you're going to be a divine source of energy, of messages that is going to be pretty impressive. I feel you guys could definitely start your own channel um, providing spiritual messages. Um, maybe start getting certified in Reiki, um, stuff like that. And for those of you who are well-versed in the spiritual world, I mean... Pretty much same message except for the fact that maybe there's still a wound within you that is like the one last hump to overcome that is still blocking you from trusting your intuition. Um, but it, it is so clear to you. And I got to say for those who uh, may feel a little bit disconnected because the power behind how you feel each and every time you feel a certain way and it comes about is lessening. I do understand this because when I first went through my profound awakening, I mean, as a child, people always told me I had a vivid imagination. I was always off in another world distracted, which was true. Um, but I didn't have my profound understanding of how strong my intuition was until around 2018, uh, where I had the biggest tower moment of my life. 
And then when I started to really connect with spirit, it was like, whoa, this is a whole new world. I'm seeing everything so differently. But as you live with that for year after year, um, you know, it's not as surprising. And I think maybe some of you are worried if the magic out of it is kind of gone. But no, you're just so used to your talent. You're so used to your skill. You're so used to your gift. It's not as surprising to you anymore. Um, but you guys are definitely spiritual badasses. And I think if you guys want to enhance your skill, enhance your ability to predict, enhance your intuition, you absolutely can do it. There's just some fear stopping you. Um, let's pull some tarot. Tell me more about October for Virgo. King of Imps. So this is the King of Wands, Leo energy. Not surprised I picked up on that earlier. Um, but yeah, for this being under the high priestess, yeah, guys, like you really can have a career in this. You really, I feel honestly not to just compliment you and make you feel all good about yourself, but you really do have the advancement and the skill level that is much higher than a lot of other people who are just diving into this. Even, you know, one of those people who can just naturally draw, they don't need to take classes. That's how you are, Virgo. There's just a certain talent about you that is impressive. Um, now, others of you, this could be romantic related where there is a king of wands that has their eye on you. Um, someone that is passionate, someone that is a go-getter, someone who is stubborn, someone who is charming and likes to be, you know, the person that is rememberable, let's just say. And I feel if you've been sensing their energy, you've been sensing their eye on you, yeah, you're right. But, you know, with this King of Wands, I still feel he's waiting to act. He or she doesn't matter, just depicted in the card here. The King of Wands is still waiting for the right time. To go for it. Um, like waiting for that final green light, waiting for that final go. Now, if this is you, um, the intensity of how bad you want this is growing more and more. Again, very similar to Leo, um, but different in a way where I feel like your psychic abilities and enhancement has already been upgraded. And I feel with that upgrade, you're going to decide more and more and be very, very clear on the feelings you're having around the situation and moving towards it. Yeah, I, I do feel there's something even for others of you where you're about to get very creative with your imagination. Um, if you are a creative person with drawing, painting, um, writing, I do feel that you have a vivid imagination that is pretty unique. That could also get you a lot of attention to your specific career path. But let's keep going. Knight of Bats. And I'm not surprised that this is under the Hungry Ghost. Um, Gemini Energy. So a couple different messages for different groups of you. For some of you, this is your own ego, right? That the mental aspect where I feel for some of you guys, you are experiencing your heart and your mind being a, a little bit at war with each other especially those who are very new to spirituality, even though you're already so gifted. There's a part of you that's like, this is not real. You're just, you know, in your own head. There's nothing logical about this. Um, you know, for some of you, you may fight yourself with that from time to time. Now, if this is outside of yourself, again, I just feel like there's just someone who always just wants to tell you what to do. There's always someone that kind of nags you. There's always someone that tells you you're wrong, tells you, I don't know, this has to go. This is part of the hungry ghosts. And for some reason, Virgo, they think by being around in your life, it gives them that punching bag almost or emotional dumping ground, mental dumping ground to just correct you all the time, to control you, um, even for some of you to obsess over you. And so maybe if you guys are starting to pull away, because I'm even looking at this King of Wands is facing the opposite direction of this Knight of Swords here. If you are starting to refocus your energy or, you know, stop paying attention to this Knight of Bats, it's going to get a little bit more aggressive in the middle of the month. Like this is someone who 
will send you a text message and if you don't respond within the hour, they send another one and then they'll call you. You know, that type of aggressive energy has to go. And um, for those of you who may find yourself to be this night of bats with the combination of the hungry ghosts, over worrying, over stressing isn't helping anything. It isn't. Um, I get the need to be cautious. I get the need to know your surroundings, but to overdo it, to, you know, just already think that something's going to go wrong is going to prevent you more from experiencing this awakening and experiencing the trust in your magic and in your intuition. And that's why I feel spirit is trying to steer you away from and is maybe spirits coming through as the Knight of Wands to send you those messages that, you know, be aware of these hungry ghosts within or around you and do something about it. It's the only blockage from your path of moving forward. Okay, let's get one more card. Tell me more about October for Virgo. There we go. Queen of Imps. Very interesting. Okay, so this is Aries energy. I got to say, for some of you guys, you're feeling deeply. You're seeing visions of it. Maybe you're seeing past lives with a certain someone. I do feel this is romantic, but for others of you, this could be a friend. But there is a soul contract between the two of you as you guys are coming through as the king and queen of wands. Um, you know, there may be some sort of issues around the progression of the conversation. But I, I do feel if you guys are at your new stages of getting to know this person, it, it may take some time because I do feel this king of wands is a lot more protective and a lot more passionate and a lot more romantic than they want to put themselves off to be. But you already see them for who they are if you are this queen of wands. And just reverse the roles if you find yourself to be on the opposite side. But um, I feel, again, the tensity is building, the chemistry is building. You guys are of the same suit of cards. You guys both are exciting. You're both fun to be around. You both have passion and vigor for life. You both are the light of the party, even if you don't mean to be. People still want to get to know you and who you are. You are passionate about everything you do and everything you experience. Um, you're go-getters. And I feel that's what drawn you guys to each other in the first place. So, you know, by the very end of the month, you finally will be in alignment with each other and things will progress then. But for now, it's like you're relying on your feelings about them your thoughts about them, what they're not communicating to you. But for others of you, if this is not romantic related, um, I do feel you're getting very much in tune with your masculine and feminine energy. And your masculine energy is at the beginning of the month, something that you're like, okay, I feel this is right. I want to work on this. I want to advance on this. I'm going to make this happen. Middle of the month, bumps in the road, Doubting yourself, sulking, guessing yourself, overthinking everything, worrying about the progress of what you've already set moving forward. End of the month, your feminine energy is coming in to say, I knew this was going to happen. You just had to nurture it. You just had to watch it grow. But yeah, Virgo, there are things you're going to predict by the end of the month. When you are in your higher self, when you're in your intuition, I do feel for a lot of you, you will be very successful in a spiritually related career if that's something you're thinking about. Um, definitely like YouTube channel or TikTok or Instagram. Keep working at it. Bottom of the deck, two of bats. So this is at the bottom of the deck and this is Libra energy. So yeah, again, um, sometimes the two of swords can give me the feeling of cognitive dissonance, um, which is, you know, the conflicting information that you become so aware of that. So for those who, let's just say, grew up with a background of either very religious um, upbringing or upbringing that was maybe very scientific, um, which I could make a whole video about how science and metaphysics actually go pretty well together, despite some things. But anyway, <laughs> something where it was, you were learned to kind of think that your intuition was just magic, hocus pocus, not real. But then you kind of notice when you do predict things, you kind of notice when you do pick up on situations. And maybe for a while that kept you in a stump. 
But I feel by giving this a shot, Virgo, in October, you're opening yourself up to outside of a very limited perspective you may once have had a long time ago or very recently even. You've been awakened to something and you can never really go back from it. Um, others of you, I do feel like this, if there was, this has to do with a romantic situation. Um, you know, they weren't telling you anything to make you feel like this was something beyond what you were feeling. They weren't showing you everything that this was something beyond what you were feeling. But I think that this is in the past. And I feel Virgo, they honestly didn't know what to do. And that's why they couldn't act. But moving forward, I think they're getting over their ego. They're getting over their fears. They're opening up and they're learning to trust because it's undeniable here what this is between the two of you, especially with the king and the queen of cups. And that's what's going to, or I'm sorry, the king and queen of wands. And that's what's going to kind of move you guys forward here. So I do feel if there is bad communication, troubled communication between a romantic partner or even a friend, um, that's all going to be resolved this month. But... Yeah, I, I still think with this Two of Swords that the hungry ghosts are trying to come in, the fears and doubts of what you can do, what you can accomplish, how successful you'll be. Um, that's really being put to rest. And I think you guys are really going to combat that in the middle of the month, which is going to make you feel more confident in yourself than ever. And I'm excited because this is definitely an upgrade in your energy, an upgrade in your skills and in your talents. And I can't wait to see it, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get one more card to see if there's anything else Spirit wants you to know about October, any sort of last minute advice Spirit wants to give you. All right, that was fast, let's see. Lead by example, nice. So yeah, you guys definitely have the potential to be an inspiration to others, to lead others, to motivate others. So for some of you guys, if you've been wanting to have that career or been curious about that, keep exploring it. Keep diving deep into it because I think there's a purpose there. Um, but yeah, I think what's the most inspiring thing about this whole message is that if you guys have been experiencing anxiety and stress and worries, you're overcoming that in profound ways by accepting your gifts, accepting your intuition and I feel as you overcome that stressful time in your life or that stressful thinking pattern or behavior, people are going to see that you're so much more of a calm person, so much more of a wise person through it all. And that's what's going to be the most inspiring thing about it, Virgo. And I think you're going to see it in yourself too. And then bottom of the deck, choose love over fear. Beautiful. I love this card. Yeah, I think... October is when you guys are finally deciding to choose love and not feed into the fear, not to feed into the drama, not to feed into the anxiety. And you're going to see how impactful that is, every mindful decision you make of choosing love over fear. And I think it's going to serve you well, Virgo. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this reading. I really hope it's resonated with you. I hope it's provided you with the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance that you're seeking by knowing what's going on in October. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Virgo, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Virgo.